Hello, Jenny from So Confident here, and I am going to show you how to put a sleeve in the easy way. So a lot of pattern companies tell you to ease a sleeve in. There are some instances where that has to be done because of a complicated bodice, perhaps. Um, however, for your bog standard bodice, so for about 90% of the patterns that you're likely to be doing, this is a much easier way than easing in a sleeve. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, so what I have here is a bog standard bodice. I've actually put the other sleeve in, so I'll show you the other side. Um, it's a little bodice with a, it's got a little cute bit at the back here. And you can see I've got one sleeve in this side and not a sleeve in this side. Now normally what your pattern would tell you to do is it would say with right sides together, it would tell you to stitch up your side seam, which is this bit here. You say stitch up your side seam and then what they would tell you to do is to get grab your sleeve, which I have here. Um, they would want you to stitch this into a sleeve shape, so underarm seams together, right sides together, stitching up here and then they would want you to essentially gather the sleeve head to then fit it into the armhole here. However, there is an easier way to do it and I'm going to show you how. So get your bodice and lay it out flat. Now a lot of patterns will also have notches to determine the front and back of the bodice and the front and back of the sleeve. Now this pattern that I'm using here is the Asha dress from Style Arc, which I'm currently doing in my capsule collection course, which is why I've got this one kind of half made up because I was using it as a demo the other day. This pattern, the sleeve, there is no notch in the back, there is a notch in the front of the bodice and there is a notch on the sleeve that matches with your shoulder seam as well. So we're going to find those bits. So here we are. I've also overlocked my row edges which can sometimes make your notches not very easy to find. However, I've got one here and there's one on the sleeve head as well which is just there and I'm just going to match them up. So a sleeve head is a bit of an awkward shape. It fits in to this bit here which you can see. However, it has to get pinned in right sides together which means you're taking two shapes that are complete opposites and trying to put them together which isn't always easy but the best thing to do is to match your notches first of all so I'm going to match my sleeve head notch with my sleeve and I've also just opened my seam allowance in there pin in there and then I'm going to match my notch at the front and if you've got a notch in the back I would match that as well because I don't. My sleeve with the end of the bodice armhole and in there. So now I've got a couple of points pinned and it's all looking quite awkward. So I'm just going to start, I might have to gently stretch this but I might have to just stretch it in ever so slightly to make it fit and I'm going to put pins. You can put as many pins in here as you like. Just put enough pins in to make it easy for you to stitch this in place. gentle pull and 
and I can tell you that this is a much easier way to pin your sleeve in than easing it in. So we just have to stitch that in, which I'm going to do now. Then what you want to do is put your sleeves right sides together and the bodice right sides together. And we're going to be stitching this underarm from the bottom bit here right the way under here and then down the side seam here. So you'll do your underarm seam and your side seam at exactly the same time. We're going to pop some pins in this first. So that is the easiest way that you can put a sleeve into a bodice, even for t-shirts and stuff it's the best way to put them in and it means that less chance of you getting tucks sewn in by accident on the top of the sleeve head there. Turn this out the right side. Two nice wee sleeves in, no tucks, perfect and super easy. Let me know how you get on with your own sleeves.